Footballers might look like they have the perfect life, but underneath, they got some dark secrets. From crimes of murder to just fighting over dogs, you won't believe some of the crimes these superstars have committed. Like Jose Mourinho, because back in 2007, Jose was killing it at Chelsea. He just won two Premier Leagues, two League Cups, and an FA Cup. But when Jose was enjoying a night at the end of season awards, he got a heartbreaking call from his wife and had to rush home quick. Because the police were trying to take Mourinho's dog away. And when Jose got home, the police were pissed. Because Jose's dog had come from Portugal without having his injections. So they tried to take him away. But this is Jose Mourinho we're talking about. He ain't gonna let some cops take away his beloved dog. So he hid the dog in his freaking backpack and jumped out the window, going on the run from the police. But when the cops caught Jose, they were even more pissed. So Jose got arrested and had to spend a few hours detained at a local police station. But luckily, he was soon released and allowed to keep his dog after he'd had his injections. I am Jose Mourinho. Man, no wonder he was heartbroken when his dog died. But the reality is that I'm dead because my dog died. It's, I, my dog died and I'm But what Marcus Alonso did was way more serious than just hiding a dog. Because Alonso might now be a superstar left back winning titles at Chelsea and Barcelona. But back in 2011, Alonso made a fatal mistake. The guy had been out drinking in Madrid and made the stupid decision to drive home. But what was even more stupid is that he had a 22-year-old girl in the car with him. And when drunk Alonso was driving 70 miles per hour in a 30 miles per hour zone on a wet and rainy night, he crashed into a wall, tragically killing the girl. Somehow, Alonso walked away uninjured, but he was arrested at the scene and found with alcohol in his blood. He faced 21 months in prison, but somehow he managed to get away with just a $60,000 fine and a three-year driving ban. Many fans were outraged by the decision, and many have never forgiven how stupid he was that night. Man, that's a tragic story. Never drink and drive, guys. But what Jack Grealish did was also pretty stupid, because back in 2020, Grealish had been having a good time and having a few drinks at a house party. But the following morning, he was still drunk. And when he needed to go home, he had this stupid idea of driving while still smashed. And you won't be surprised to see how that ended. Grealish smashed into some parked cars. But that wasn't the end. because he also smashed his 70,000 pound Land Rover into a brick wall, causing thousands of dollars worth of damage. But what Grealish didn't realize is that it was all caught on CCTV. So when the police saw what happened and seen it was Grealish, he was in big trouble. He was slapped with an 82,000 pound fine by the police, a 150,000 pound fine by his club, and banned from driving for nine months. The guy was totally wasted. I mean, those slippers ain't even matching. Huh? But what Ronaldo did almost got him locked up and deported from Saudi Arabia. Because early in his first season at Al Nasir, Ronaldo was outraged when his team was losing 2-0 to Al Hilal. And during the game, he'd already put an opposition player in a headlock. But when the game was done and Ronaldo was walking off the pitch, opposition fans started chanting Messi at him. And Ronaldo had enough. But what he did to show his frustration had no place on the football field. Gee, Ronaldo, there's no place for that on the pitch. Come on, man. But it was way more serious than it first looked because rude gestures like that are illegal in Saudi Arabia. And it led to Saudi lawyers calling for Al Nasir to terminate his contract at the club. And some lawyers 
even wanted Ronaldo to be arrested. And some people even wanted him deported. Now that's a bit extreme. But luckily, Ronaldo got away with it by saying that he had hurt his crotch and was easing the pain. It wasn't a gesture aimed at the opposition fans. But with passion like Ronaldo's, only he will ever know the truth. But Brazilian superstar Ronaldinho actually did go to jail. Because back in 2020, Ronaldinho tried traveling using a fake passport from Paraguay, even though the guy's from Brazil, which is a pretty serious offense. But when he actually wanted to enter Paraguay, the cops knew he was up to something. This is Ronaldinho we're talking about. You think the police aren't gonna spot him? And when he was caught, the Brazilian superstar was arrested and sent to jail. Gee, imagine being cellmates with Dinho. But it wasn't too bad, because the guy set up his own futsal tournament, creating a real-life prison FC. And it sounds like Ronaldinho still has some skills in his locker, because his team won the tournament, winning 11-2 in the final, with Dinho scoring five and assisting six goals. But luckily, Ronaldinho was released after just 32 days in prison but still had to pay a $110,000 fine. Man, what a story that is. Now using a fake passport is pretty serious, but back in his Dortmund days, my guy Erling Haaland got taken away for something not so serious. When the Norwegian baller was first ripping it up at Dortmund, he was just like any other teenager and wanted to go and party. So he hit up a local nightclub, but it didn't last long because Harland soon got escorted out by security. And when the video appeared online, fans were baffled at what he'd done. But as it turns out, he had to get removed because the guy was too famous. Harland had forgotten that he was a superstar now, banging in goals for Dortmund every week and playing in the Champions League. So in the nightclub, he was constantly getting mobbed and putting strain on the security guards to look after him. So they had no choice but to kick him out of there. Still, Harlan wasn't too impressed. The guy just wanted to party. But another one of the greatest players in the game actually did go to jail. Harry Maguire. Oh, my Harry Maguire! And not just for crimes against football. Get out, Harry Maguire! Piss off! Piss off, Harry Maguire! You useless piece of shit. Because in 2020, when Maguire was on vacation in Greece, Maguire and his brother were looking out for their sister when he got into a full-on bar fight. And when the police came rushing in, they didn't know the situation, leading to Maguire pushing a police officer away. But with strength like Maguire, the police officer fell over and injured his back. And the cops really didn't like that. So Maguire was arrested for assaulting a police officer and was forced to spend two nights in a police cell. But that wasn't the end. Because he was so desperate not to get arrested, he allegedly bribed the police to let him go. But the Greek police were having none of it. In the end, Maguire was allowed out after two nights in a cell and returned to Manchester to be the beast that he is. Harry Maguire! Gee, I don't ever want to get into a fight with Harry Maguire. But if you think these were crazy, go and check out some of these videos and don't forget to subscribe.